Today we're driving from the Apgar Visitor Center in Glacier National Park to Logan Pass at the Great Divide via going to the Sun Road. This 30 mile drive is considered to be one of the most beautiful drives in America. The road starts out along the eastern shore of Lake McDonald. This lake is about 10 miles long and a mile wide. Check out my other videos of this area. I'll put links in the description below. We are approaching Avalanche Trailhead and the sign reads no vehicle or assemblies over 21 feet for the next 24 miles. Logan Pass, 16 miles, Rising Sun, 28, St. Mary, 34 miles. The Park Service tries to get this road open by July 4th, but in 2022, it didn't open until July 13th. Mud and rock slides, 80 foot snow drifts and other complications all come into play when opening this road. Having a motorbike in front of you actually gives you a pretty good idea of how wide or how narrow this road is. on this road. The road is very narrow in sections with sheer cliffs on one side and sheer drop-offs on the other. If you decide to come to Glacier in early July, keep in mind that there are no guarantees this road will be open, so it's good to have other plans, just in case. As we take this drive together, you'll notice that the weather and the seasons change along the way. That's because I recorded these clips over an entire summer of driving to Logan Pass, either for work or play, so you'll get to experience three and a half months of Glacier's mood swings during this short video. If you stick it out to the end, you'll get to drive back down during a thunderstorm with torrential rain and flooding. It's actually a bit scary. I guess I should close my window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> Woo! All water. <laughs> That's beautiful. Well.
These are the mountains. The weather can change in an instant. It can be sunny and warm in the morning and snowing, foggy or thundering in the afternoon. If you drive this road, it's best to pack some warmer clothes and train gear, even in the middle of summer. Hiking Overland today would be wild. Oh. <laughs> Short, so the bush is chilly. <sighs> that girl looks miserable. Working for Glacier National Park Conservancy was hard work, and I often missed things because I was sleeping in the back seat, just like the young'uns. I missed bears and goats a couple of times, and we couldn't just stop on a whim to take a picture. But I hope I managed to capture the essence of this stunningly beautiful place enough for you to enjoy it. I also have several other videos on Glacier for your enjoyment, including a little bit about the towns and quite a few hikes. My channel is viewer supported, so if you'd like to treat me to a cup of coffee, you'll find the links below or you can click the little heart directly beneath this video. I truly appreciate your support and I hope you'll take a moment to comment, like and share. It's September 22nd, almost 9 o'clock at Logan Pass. Somewhere over there. Is the visitor center. Coming up is the drive back down during a thunderstorm and if you stick it out all the way to the end you'll find some more links to click on to more of my videos and playlists. Saw some lightning. I can't believe I have to come up here tomorrow morning to work. that everybody is actually going even slower than the 25 mile an hour speed limit.
just passed Haystack Creek and it is just pumping out pure mud. Wow, it's amazing.